Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, Lead Code 30 Days Challenge. Now today we are going to discuss problem uh, 2703 in Lead Code. Uh, this is return the length of arguments passed, which is actually easy one. It's like they are asking in a particular uh, array and they are asking it like how many arguments are there for a particular function. Let's see here, write a function uh, arguments length that returns the count of arguments passed to it. So there is a function named arguments length here. It's a function and uh, you can see here dot 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 arcs. This dot 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 arcs are called, this is called actually rest parameter. So this is rest parameter or rest operator. So the rest operator, you can uh, say uh, it, it, it takes the rest of parameters or the rest of arguments, the rest of arguments as an array, as an array. Uh, for example, if you have a function, uh, let's take it a function sum having some values. Now imagine you want to call it the sum uh, with uh, 2 comma 3 and the same sum function if you want to call it 2 comma 3 what you will do usually you will go with a comma b kind of notation where you will have 2 what if i want to use it the same sum for 3 then i will use something called 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay uh, then again i need to expand it for c what if i want a function which can work it for anything then instead of here i can write it here dot 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 ergs now this ARGS is an array which contains 2, 3, 4. Okay, it's an array of 2, 3, 4. What if someone write it A comma dot 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 ARGS, then 3 comma 4 will be an array, A will be 2 value. So the same way they applied it, so they are calling it arguments dot length 1 comma 2 comma 3, so which will result obviously 1 plus 2, uh, sorry, uh, they are not uh, doing it plus, they are just counting it how many are there. So you can actually return the length of that which is return dot which is arg is an array so obviously array dot length which will automatically return it which is very easy so you can actually check it uh, how much uh, length is there so that, that's done now you can see it here it passed it beats 59 percent it's okay 51 microsoft so uh, you have to consider two things here one is uh, space complexity one is uh, time complexity if you are taking it here the space complexity one and the time complexity one you will have uh, time complexity complexity uh, the big o of n one and the space complexity also you will have you will have something big o of n one or you can even try, sir, I don't want to go with a uh, length method from an array notation. You can actually try it up creating an account. So let's a basic count, which is zero uh, for count one. You can see my previous videos where I showed you how to do the count one and you can write it ship here for let I uh, let I equals to zero i less than or equals to args dot length i less than so until the length of the particular one and you can write it here i plus plus and here count plus plus and you can actually return it here count but actually it's a not an ideal method see here also i used something args dot length automatically args is an array so i should take it an args dot length like how many elements are there that much time i should increase the value so uh, better than this process the previous one is actually suitable one but still there are multiple ways which you can prefer it it's just in a simple one they are asking it but the more, more things you will learn about this particular problem you will learn about how the function works argument works and how the rest operator works these are the things you need to focus on and stay tuned here and we'll come with another problem thank you all